reached a point in the story where things get really difficult and a lot of people quit the game. If you can't handle dying, then you need to learn to get used to it or quit. Because you're gonna die a lot. That's just a part of this game. So, our next quest requires us to go into the scrapyard. The scrapyard is a massive PvP fest. Here's the, the bandit base. So the bandits just come like this straight up into the scrapyard and they tend to farm this. Uh, the more passive bandits will come here into the Colos Agro Complex and uh, farm here. And same for the stalkers, they'll come into Black Willows and farm copper wire here. Anybody who wants PvP will either go here, right in the center of Roadside, underneath this bridge, or they'll go here. Just PvP nuts. And our next few missions are in here. So we will most likely die. It happens. To players, to enemies, because this is quite a dangerous area as well. It has a lot of anomalies as well. Some uh, dangerous uh, environmental effects, like right here, is a plateau. And on top of it, it's just this massive psi anomaly effect. If you go there, you will die unless you're using the right suit and the right medication. So, what we're going to do, we're going to talk to this guy, and then you need to buy this side block. Because I'm going to show you a way to get to the junk man with relative safety. I can't guarantee you will survive. So, our route will take. We're going to go through here, through Black Willows, and then up into the scrapyard. So, I will chat to you guys when we're in the scrapyard. Uh, we are just outside the scrapyard. So, we need to get to the junk man who is basically in this tunnel. There's two entrances. This is not a safe area. Bandits have to go there as well. So, you, we, you luckily run into bandits when you go in here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run across. We're going to run across the plateau and we're going to try to get into the place from above. But we're on top of the plateau. The psi effect begins here. Our armor is not good enough to stop the effect entirely. So we need to use this stuff. Only lasts 1 minute and 30 seconds. So you got to be quick. Let's see. Take that. Let's go. The reason that I'm running across here is most people don't have decent enough armor to run around up here for that guy but they don't which makes you safe for the most part there are no guarantees you can get in from here I doubt it so let's head in and we are in okay this is a safe zone so you can run around and you'll probably see bandits running around greetings what's up guys greetings let's go talk to the junk man that's the junk man right there oh brat stalker пожаловал к нам что надоело артефакты выискивать да бандюга на мороже начищать ты подходи может чего купить хочешь У меня тут есть несколько метров отменной медной проволоки. Слушай, я со своими парнями только и делаю, что нахожу ценный хлам, а потом сбываю его. А, Кондор? Конечно, знаю такого. 
Ну, раз мы оба друзья шамана, и тебе грех мне не помочь. Не... Слушай, сталкер, времена сейчас тяжелые. У меня в бригаде было несколько парней, первоклассные диггеры и радиат. Блаженные, хероженные, мне по барабану. Парни были золотые и ворочили шестерни бизнеса как надо. Теперь парней нет. И ш... Реле, конденсаторы, транзисторы. Штуки по три раскопай, тащи сюда. Вот эта старая хреновина, металлоискатель, она тебе в этом поможет. Только будь осторожен. Бандиты тут... А. It's given us the best metal detector in the game. It has a little radar that points you to exactly where the object is, which is freaking awesome. Right, so let's put this on a number. Put our AK on a number. Because the thing is, you're going to have to switch to it. See, there's a bandit. There's another bandit. All have quests in the same place, so it gets a bit crazy. But this is what it looks like. So then you put your weapon on. And the metal detector in a slot so you can quickly switch between them because you're going to have to now this detector has passive detecting so it will let you'll hear a weird beeping noise when you come into a location where you can find uh, a hidden stash but, but you need to switch to it to actually find it uh, once you're in range So, they give us two spots to search for these parts for that he wants. Uh, we are going to go to this one, because it's on our side of the map. This is the bandit side, and the bandits are often here searching for copper. So you don't want to go there. Uh, you can, you're going to get so much PvP, it'll be pointless. So we'll go, we'll go to this one. Right. I will see you guys when I'm there. And we are here. I just gotta run around the area until your little detector does that. And you're gonna pull this thing out. And the display will show you exactly where to go. And there it is. And we're gonna find the next one, which is in the same spot. Awesome. There's a whole bunch of them spawning on top of each other. Biggies are coming. Now, of course, do not make it easy for you. Nice. That was a normal one. That's what you normally find. These ones here are quest ones. There's two on top of each other again. Yeah, we're doing. We still need capacitors. A good way to get achievements, by the way. They'll constantly spawn. Get capacitors. On the stair. The stair. Capacitor. I 
we are done. Let's head back. Back. Gotta head inside. There we go. Uh, we are safely back. As you can see, there was a bandit right there. I will speak to the junk man. Ага, полилось маслица на мой бизнес-механизм. Вот буквально только что пришла инфа, что его ребята остановились неподалеку отсюда. Скину координаты тебе на ПДА. В миг их найдешь. А если ты захочешь еще заняться дигерством, которому у тебя определенно есть талант, возвращайся. see where exactly he is right up in the corner here so I will see you guys when we get there And that's the reality of the place. That's what happens. Yeah, <laughs> there's freaking bandits everywhere. But now, we have to run all the way back. It's going to be a little bit easier this time because we're just going to go up. We are going to go through the Black Willows, through this entrance here, and we are going to go up and meet Condor. So, I will meet you guys there once I have. Replenished all my ammo and my meds. I'll see you guys. And uh, we have reached Condor. It's right here. Let's go talk to him. There's Condor. Осторожнее, Stalker. Вижу, ты сам не знаешь, куда идешь. Радушие от меня и моих людей не жди. Мы сами по себе. Если начнешь дурить, пулю в лоб получишь быстро. Ты, видно, решил, что тебе тут все можно, и перед тобой все двери открыты. Да только это не так. Оракул с тобой говорить не будет. Я глава этого отряда, а Оракул — его часть. Если я решаю, что Оракул... Мы не какой-нибудь нищий сброд, который тебе с потрохами продастся за пару сотен рублей. Не думаю, что от тебя будет большой толк. Но если ты готов рискнуть своей жизнью ради этого разговора... У меня уже несколько дней мой отряд преследуют мутанты. Целые стаи мутантов. У меня нет этому никакого логического объяснения. Мне не до твоих дурацких шуток. Гибнут мои люди, мои братья по оружию. Гиб... Под моим началом не просто своры охламонов. Мы братство. Здесь каждый готов отдать жизнь за товарища. Увы, мы потеряли слишком много хороших людей в этой... Меня волнуют лишь жизни моих братьев, а вот твоя жизнь, если честно, для меня и ржавого болта не стоит. Тогда принеси мне хотя бы их ПДА. Так я буду знать, что ты сделал все, что мог. Да, если ты прольешь свет на судьбу моих бойцов. Uh, three of his men in this thing and you will constantly be attacked by monsters like rats dogs boars, all that stuff that's what makes that one difficult so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want something to stop bleeding like this one here uh i do not ha currently have that active let's use that and we are gonna want a, a boost like this Health regen, vitality, stamina. Uh, you get those from quests and from the season pass thing. As you can hear there's a copper wire spot here. Gotta find it. 
There's no copper wire. Ooh, it's quite a bit here. I'll probably lose it. It's quite easy to die around here. Don't get too attached to anything. I prefer to have the mentality that it's not yours until you're back, back to base. So that way you know, haven't actually lost anything. Alright, there is somebody else here. Somewhere. Let me just take care of these things. Shotgun is king. Against mutants anyway. Right, so we've got to find three people here. There's one. And there's our first monster. Right. Just don't even bother reading it, just grab the shirt and go. There's another. Take the PDA. It's gonna be constantly like that with things chasing you. Now I've got to find the third. I'm not 100% sure where it is. Okay, we got one guy on our side and one guy setting up. One guy on his back. There you go, take. Oh. You see all this? This is what makes this quest difficult. And now Condor has moved his camp. So we have to find it. Where is it? It's over there. Alright, that's quite a long run for us. But anyway, let's head up. Just grab that stuff while we're at it. Guy killed me earlier, took all of my stuff. Am I still hitting? There we go. Uh, once again, we ran into a bunch of enemies, got killed, so now we just restock and we go back. As I said, you gotta get used to dying or you gotta be really, really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more side block. I forgot to take that the last time. Uh, what else we got? Here yeah, we got that, got that, got that. Got ammo. Let me just buy some more shotgun ammo. And then off we go again. I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, we are almost back. I can probably go get my stuff back was uh, an AI that killed me. 
but I want to go first speak to Condor who so we can get this quest done and here we are Condor. Это было ожидаемо. Не верить я до последнего отказывался. Смириться с тем, что твоих братьев по оружию больше нет. Тяж... Я обещал тебе возможность поговорить с Оракулом, и я сдержу обещание. Но предупреждаю, если ты выкинешь какую-то глупость в разговоре с... Иди, Оракул ждет тебя. So let's go speak to Oracle now. Кондор разрешил тебе говорить со мной. Ну, ты можешь начинать. У тебя какая-то просьба? Понятно. Ко мне уже приходили люди, искавшие... Некоторые люди, зная, что у меня есть какие-то необычные способности, начинают считать их великим даром. Следующее, что я помню, я стою на границе зоны и ощущаю весь мир. Это очень сложно описать, но такое чувство, будто ты только что родил. Я обрел какую-то дикую силу, но никак не могу воспринять ее как дар. Она вырвала меня из моей обыденности, пытаясь захватить. Не хочу искать этот предмет. И я ощущаю, что он связан с полученными мною силами. Начну поиски. Я не могу, извини. Кондор, Кондор убьет меня. Ты не понимаешь, я... Наш отряд — это семья. Каждого из членов отряда Кондор зовет... Хорошо. Я все расскажу тебе. Но ты ни слова не скажешь Кондору. А если обмол... Ты ведь знаешь, что наш отряд преследует мутанта. Это не просто так. Я постоянно пытаюсь исследовать свои способности. Я умею вступать в контакт с разными животными. Я случайно вступил в телепатическую связь с каким-то монстром. До этого момента мне казалось, что связь работает в одну сторону. Я могу влиять на окружающих, но сам защищен. Это была фото. Кондор убьет меня, если узнает. Я бы сам себя убил, но трушу. Я был простым домашним парнем, а теперь... Я чувствую, где он находится. Я направлю тебя, но должен предупредить. Это очень мощный противник. Чем бы оно ни было, оно владеет телепатическими способностями. Не стоит воспринимать это создание как рядового мутанта. Будь осторожен. Attracted the attention of something that uh, you don't really want to attract the attention of. But oh, that got killed. Damn! Look! Look at the people getting killed here. Yeah. And now he he wants us to go and take out this beast. Uh, but that's something for the next episode. So I will see you guys then. Cheers. Take care.